For me, Assassin's Creed is essentially a long, epic story of a guy in the prison going in a machine called the Animus, and he's going to relive the life of his ancestors. In Assassin's Creed 2, we follow Desmond, who's going to live the life of Ezio Auditore da Firenze. The meaning of Ezio's name in following with the uh, tradition established by the first Assassin's Creed is that Ezio means eagle. Eagle or the flying one. Its uh, origins uh, come from Greece. He's a young noble from uh, Florence at the beginning of the game. He's studying to follow in his father's footsteps. His father, as far as we know, is a banker. As a rich boy in Florence, he doesn't really see the hardships or of you know the peasants and other poor people and it doesn't really affect him uh, either. He's uh, more of a uh, carefree guy. He does what he has to do. He's got lots of money. He's got lots of friends. And uh, in regards to the women, he's very charming. He always says the right thing, uh, the right thing to surprise them, to stand out of the crowd, and that's why they have a really hard time uh, resisting to his charms. Ezio is a typical Italian nobleman in many ways. He's a fiery, violent, proud personality. He's terribly uh, proud of his family. He deals with noble people and with peasants in a very polite and courteous way, even if he's about to stick a hidden blade in your skull, right? He has uh, a very strange talent that his father is aware of, which is the eagle vision from the first game. Nobody really knows how come he has that, but uh, we sort of find out in the game. At one point, he, uh, something tragic uh, happens to, uh, to himself and his family. What happens is that the same people that Ezio considered to be dear family friends actually turn on him. People that are very close to him are taken from him, and becoming an assassin and acquiring those skills will give him the abilities necessary to exact revenge. When you're used to just living free and living without a worry in, in the world, and all of a sudden, uh, the entire Florentine uh, army uh, is looking for you and you have to protect your mother, you have to protect your sister, and you have to defend yourself, uh, changes everything in, uh, in his life. So going from this life of, of uh, La Dolce Vita, you know, in, in Italy, you will have to become this guy who needs to kill in order to survive. We see Ezio progressing very much so throughout the game, physically as well as emotionally and, and in his personality. As a player, you will go just like the main character in the same, you'll be at first just like you and I, and then will become this badass main character. Before he just wants vengeance, but later on he wants justice. <laughs>